Hey guys, uh, Jason here. Uh, welcome back to another video on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm recording this. I'm recording this on my iPad because this might be a longer video. And um, and the last time I recorded one of these longer videos, not like counting the uh, chill slash experimental song, but like when I was ranking an artist albums. When I recorded that on my phone, um, you remember what happened with the Trivium one where I recorded like most of it and then recorded, uh, um, and then I had to re-record it. Well, it was a nightmare after I re-recorded it. Uh, it was a nightmare after I re-recorded it because I was trying to upload the video and stuff and all that stuff and then it. Had to actually airdrop it to my iPad, and, um, yeah, that was a nightmare, because it kept saying that there, it was, it didn't have enough storage to export the stuff, so, um, that's why I'm just gonna record it on this on my iPad, because it might be a longer video, and I have more store, I have more storage on this thing, so, I have more storage room, so, um, anyway, what this video is actually about, um, is going to be how I got into wrestling. And so, um, um, so I'm gonna explain, uh, cause you know the song Time to Wrestle. It's a cool song. Everyone likes that song, um, so far. Gotten a few comments on that song. So, anyway, uh, so I wanted, I've been wanting to do this since, uh, my national tournament that. I had where I went to Washington, D.C., which was why I didn't upload a lot that week besides soon. So, anyway, let's explain. I'm going to, you know, kind of explain, like, how I got into wrestling and all that stuff. All right, so let's start. Um, so, first, it probably was, like, it was, like, 2021 summer, which is actually one of the best summers ever for me. Um, just in general, uh, it was a, it was a really good summer. Um, I had this work experience, uh, through this program that I do and, um, and then I got some money from it. I got about 400 bucks. And so, um, so with that. I bought an Apple Watch, which I'm actually not wearing it right now because I haven't really been wearing it, even on wrestling, because it's just it just gets in the ways. But I have have an Apple Watch, um, and I showed the workout video on that. If you want to go watch that, but anyway, um, I have an Apple Watch, uh, and I bought that with that work experience money that I earned, uh, and this is when I got into working out and before then I was always kind of the type of guy that I was like yeah it's cool working out's cool but I was like I was like I never really loved it that much I was not really like this that athletic at the time I was just it was kind of more into like music and technology and all that stuff which I still am but I was back then I didn't really was I wasn't really into sports so anyway, I uh, I started the run. One day I started the, what is it, the walking workout. And I was like, um, I was like, this is cool. And then so I, like every week that we run on the track, I would try to get like a running workout in at the at PE class that year. And then it was one day that we didn't, uh, walk the track and we were doing something else that I didn't really want to do and I wanted to do something and so the coach is like you can do 50 squats so yeah I did 50 squats and then that's when I started like really getting into it I did I started doing push-ups I couldn't do a pull-up or anything back then I didn't have any strength um I started doing push-ups uh squats and all that stuff, and then, um, yeah, so I did that, and then, um, 
And then I started wanting to improve on my pull-ups. Because back then, I couldn't do one. So I started at like two. And I went up to like... I kept improving like every month or two. So I would go up like to four. Then to like six. Then to like eight. So on, so on. And then... Um, we found... We found a set of... What is it? Weights that I have in a weight uh, in my... Uh, it's the spare room of our house. It's like a and it has a weight room in it, and uh, I have like a set of dumbbells and some barbell, uh, and some uh, kettlebells and a barbell and stuff, and a bench. Um, but anyway, that's I started working out in that probably about like five or six months into working out, and this was when I was really hearing a lot of stuff about wrestling. So this is like when I wanted to kind of get into wrestling, but I couldn't do it that year. Um, because I never really, like, wanted to do sports back then, so I never got a physical, and I couldn't do it, so, um, and, yeah, so, I kept working out, and the way I, the way I, the way, the person that kind of pushed me to start was, uh, one of my classmates, he's completely blind. He does wrestling. Uh, he wrestles in the 120 weight class. Or he was wrestling 126 for the tournament. But he wrestles some t a lot of times in 120. And he does wrestling. He does goal ball too, which I like watching it. I just don't want to play it. I'm just, I'm kind of a guy that likes more, what you call it, quote unquote, individual sports. Like, yes, you're still on the team, blah, blah, blah. But it's kind of you and that other person, so it's more individual, but anyway, um, so I, um, heard about it a lot from him, and, um, and then during that summer, I, you know, I kept working out, which is the summer of 2022, I kept working out, hitting the weights, uh, all that stuff, and then, the the time and then by the time the fall came it was probably September October, ish and then November, and then the time for tryouts came up, so, um. I kind of had it in my mind that I was going to make it because I was. Before then, I was pretty much training like I pretty much trained for a year almost to do this sport, and so. I kind of had it in a mindset that I was going to make it, but my mom told me that um, you should still have that 2% in you that says that you won't. And so I just went with the flow. We, I went to the tryouts, and then, uh, which was cool. Um, it was like uh, 50 kids. So there was like 10 to 15 blind kids that tried out, and then there was a lot of deaf kids. And the coach, the coach, um, because wrestling is a blind and deaf sport, both blind and deaf kids do it at FSDB, which is the school I go to, um, but he cut it down to, like, 30-ish, um, and so the tryouts happened, and I just, you know, I kind of went with it, I knew I was probably gonna make it, uh, the first day was just, like, us running, uh, doing a bunch of stretches, doing spin drills, and, and then the second day was, like, us doing some live wrestling stuff, and then, um, all that stuff, and then, and then once the end of the trial comes, the third day is practice, because the original plan was we were gonna have tryouts to the end of that last week, and then have a practice, but, um, that didn't go as planned because uh, we had a s tropical storm and all that stuff. And that was like in November of this year. So we had that tryout then. Um, and then going to the first practice, I was just, you know, kind of thinking it, that, you know, I still had that 2% in me that said I won't. And then I still had the other half that said I do. And then, oh, sorry, this chargers 
charging this thing up while I'm recording. But anyway, um, uh, I, oh, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, I had that 2% in me that said that I wouldn't make it, but I had that other percent that said I would, and so I just, I wait to see what happens, if I'm officially on the roster or not, and all that stuff, and then I get this call from, uh, Mason, and guess he's sitting with my, that other friend that I just mentioned that kind of, um, he's sitting with that other friend uh, that I just mentioned that kind of helped me with this sport and proved to me that I could do it. He was sitting with that friend and, um, and I got a call from him. I didn't answer it cause I was like so tired. It was like 10 o'clock at night and I had another big day tomorrow and, or the next day and I was, I got this call and then I get a voicemail and now I listen to it and and then he's like, uh, Kyrie or uh, the other friend, uh, Kyrie, I'll just say his name, I guess. He just, uh, he just leaves me a voicemail under Mason's number, which I guess Mason called me at that time. And, um, and he's like, He's joking around. He's like, you didn't make the team. And then, um, and then Mason, uh, tells me the actual truth. And then I just, I kept questioning that morning. And even my mom did like, is that like actual, is that like actually official or not? Or like, like what? It's just like, I'm kind of, I think I um, was like, I know I made it, but. I still got to look at the roster first. And then so, so, um, I get to school that morning and then I get an email that has the official roster on it. And so I look at that and then that, that says that I made the team. So I text my mom, just tell her I made the team. We had practices and then we came off and then we came from, uh, then we had Thanksgiving break, so we didn't have a practice for like a week or so. And then next we had a practice, a couple practices, then our first match. Our first match was November 30th, and we were going against, it was at home, it was at here, it was uh, at FSDB. Uh, so we went against... Uh, play, and then we were supposed to go against Interlochen, uh, but we, Interlochen, I guess, wasn't ready at that time yet, so we just went against Clay, which is a tough, tough team to beat, um, and so, going to my first match, I was just like, um, I don't know, I don't know if I'll even, um, win or not, because I just, like, you know, it's my first experience wrestling, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of a little nervous. It starts at like six thirty or ish, of six thirty ish. Wayans were at five thirty ish, and then so it's my first experience and all that stuff. And so I'm just kind of nervous for what's gonna happen. And so I get in there. Um, I get ready for uh, get ready for the weigh-ins. Weigh-ins happen, and then I eat something. Then. Matches start, and I'm like, I think I was like the third match, because they started at 106, because I'm in the 106 class, so I think I was like the third match that day, um, it was like, yeah, it was like the third match, I had, and there was like two matches before that, then I was the third match, so I walk up, up to the mat when it's my turn, and, uh, you know, the referee is explaining how you keep contact with a blind person and all that stuff and how you're supposed to start with neutral, which is supposed to be hands flat. Um, so I get, we get into our wrestling stance and I'm just at this point, I'm just waiting for the whistle. And so, yes, the whistle goes off to start. I gripe, 
I don't know any moves at this time because like this is like literally my first week of wrestling and this is like literally my first match. So I don't know any moves or anything. So I'm just I'm just seeing what works. So I just grab his neck and then I almost took him down and then and then I was on my back for like 10 seconds. I was trying to like get up back off the mat and then pin. So I didn't really like I wasn't really sad that I lost the match, but I was just it was like it was just it just seemed fast and also there at that first match um there was a staff that came and he was really yelling and all that stuff i'm like i had my first i just told him i had my first match i want you to come i want you to give me some support so i had a lot of support for that first match i was like everyone was yelling my name out and uh, my mom was there my dad was there uh some staff were there from from other departments and uh yeah um so that match, it lasted about, it was like 22 seconds. My dad, I think, actually has a video of it. It was a 22-second match, and I talked to Coach afterwards. I was like, uh, he was like, um, my first my first ever wrestling match, I only lasted 13 seconds. So it's nine seconds more um, than my coach lasted for his first match, was, which was actually pretty good. And then so, um, I, we go to practice, we keep practicing, uh, and then the next meet is on December 7th, um, which was at Orange Park, and we, like, we wrestled, we wrestled against, we wrestled against five other schools, and so we wrestled against five other schools, um, it was Palaka, Pedro, Orange Park, uh, Bardrum Trail, and I'm forgetting the other school that we wrestled. Uh, forgetting the other school that we wrestled right now. But it was five schools, including us. Or it was five, technically six schools if you count us. Um, so we go, well, we go on the bus riding that meet. That's my first experience with that. And, um, and I go out, we have our singlets on and everything else set up. Way in, uh, this is like an early meet. So weigh-ins were like at noon and matches started like very earlier. So matches were like one thirty ish and lasted to like 7-ish or something like that. Um, so it was actually a very, um, it's a pretty long meet. They, they had two mats. So there would be four schools going at, going at once. Um, and then we, like, and then, like, it, it calls, because I think we start, uh, that meet, we started at 145 for a lot of the matches. And then we went, and then it went all the way back to 106. And then the coach, this is my first, this is where I get my first ever forfeit. So I'm like, I'm thinking, of like, what the hell is a forfeit? And coach explains it to me. You go up and, you know, get your hand raised like you're going to, like, you go up, you suit up like you're going to wrestle, but you get your hand raised, you get your hand raised, and that means that you won because there wasn't anyone in your weight class for that particular school. So that day I had four, I got four forfeits. I got uh, four um, automatic wins, four, four forfeits. And then at the end, I actually wrestled someone. Uh, he's from Bar uh, Bargem Trail. And I don't know, it probably lasted like 30 seconds. Uh, again, I'm still learning a lot of moves. So I like didn't have a, a lot of moves in my arsenal yet. Uh, anyway, I wrestled, I wrestled uh, him. Uh, and they were kind of about as good as Clay. They were like one of the better schools. And, um, but yeah, um, pinned in like 30 seconds. And so there was one loss there. 
Um, and then, yeah. So that was the meet at Orange Park. We have another meet. We have another meet at Orange Park, which I will, uh, which I will talk about later. Next, we have we had a home meet. Uh, that was on December fourteenth. I actually couldn't go to that one because that week I actually got sick, and so that's why I didn't actually even make like any videos or anything that week or anything because I was like sick. I had the flu cough sore throat and all that stuff so i missed that wrestling meet um i don't remember what schools they were wrestling i i watched i watched it but it was like like after it was done it was like six or seven o'clock in the morning or something i watched it but i watched a lot of it but i don't even remember what i watched because i was just sick um but anyway that meet and then December 19th, we have no we had another meet. Um, and this one was actually at Clay. So we wrestled Clay and Interlocking. And so this was kind of, it's just kind of, you know, I was, it was, it was me coming back from being sick all that last week. I didn't go to any practices that last week, and I was going straight into a match, straight into a match. Um, so I didn't know how I was going to do or anything, um, and yeah, so I go in, we go, we get there, weigh-ins, it's a later meet, so weigh-ins are, I don't even remember what time this stuff, I think it was like 5.30ish. Again, I was still kind of sick, so I wasn't feeling 100%. So I don't remember a lot of things about this meet. But I do remember that actually I told Coach after the first match, I told him, I told one of the coaches, I was like, I have a goal. And my goal is to at least last one round, two minutes, without getting pinned. And so yeah, that was that was one of my goals. And at that meet, I went. I wrestled against a guy from Interlocking, and um, I actually met that goal. I lasted a round, which was two minutes. So um, and like we wrestled for a while. I probably got like about. I don't remember how far it was into the second round, but it was like a little bit into the second round, I think, uh, that I got pinned. But if I would have had a practice, if I would have went to practices all that week or not, or um, if I would have been at practices that last week and not been sick, then I could have easily pinned that guy. It was just... That I was sick. I wasn't feeling 100% that time. And I did last around. But if it, if I was like actually at my full potential with that meet. I could have easily pinned that dude. Um, and then I wrestled. And then when I wrestled someone against Clay. And I lasted like 25 seconds. Because they're, they're like a hard team. They really are. And so. Anyway. That meet. And then I had we had a week of practices, so I was going ninety enough, and even though I wasn't feeling a hundred percent, I still went to all the practices that week. And even I forgot uh, the next day I was supposed to go because I on Tuesdays I usually go to that other program which I mentioned about the work experience. We they have lessons that we do on Tuesdays, and I didn't even go to that because I was just so focused on wrestling because I wasn't at wrestling all week, so I just wanted to you know, go to wrestling, because I was just so focused on that, and I completely forgot about that program for that week, and so, uh, anyway, I went to all those practices for that week, um, then we have two weeks off because of Christmas, so we didn't have any practice for practices for two weeks, and then so, the next meet is January 11th at Orange Park again, and... We had a practice on the 9th, and then the 10th I didn't go. 
and then the 11th was at meet. And then, so, um, that meet, I was wrestling junior varsity that meet, 106, and I didn't get a match. And, I mean, I wanted to wrestle. I was bummed out that I couldn't wrestle. But at the same time, I, I just, I told the coach, like, once that meet was finished, I just told him, I mean... I wish I could wrestle, but I still learned by showing up. I still showed up, even though I didn't get to wrestle. The fact that I still showed up was cool, because I still showed up to support the team. I was supporting the team, even though I even though I didn't wrestle, I was still supporting the team just by being there. Just by being at the matches, just by watching the match, just by learning about the, about the other matches. Even though that I didn't get to wrestle. Um, but, yeah, um, that, was the, that was the second meet at Orange Park. We wrestled like five schools again and two mats. And I think that Clay, the one that we had at Clay and in Interlock in, I think that was a two mat. It was a dual meet, but I think there was two mats because when Clay wasn't wrestling, I think they were, like, practicing with, like, younger kids on another mat. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, we had that meet. Then practice, practice, practice. And this is when I'm, like, starting to see my potential. I kind of start, I kind of start to get some more moves in my arsenal. Uh, when it comes to the way of things and um especially some top moves i've been before then i really liked bottom and then now i like top and so i so next we have our home meet another third of uh, this is the third home that we have and um We wrestled two schools, Palaka and Pedro, and dual meet. My grandma was there. Uh, my dad was there. My mom was there. And I didn't actually get, like, a match for the first school. But the second school, um, coach was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a forfeit for... For your grandma. And. Um, that was just. That was just nice of him. Um, so I got that forfeit. And. I knew that coach. Was not going to give a lot of. Like. He wasn't going to give. Um, some people matches. Because he wanted to save. People's energy. For. Uh, Washington. D.C. Which I'll talk about afterwards. Um, and so he wanted to save people's energy for those matches so that's why some people didn't get a match um so i kind of knew that going into it so anyway that meet was cool um it was a fun time and next we have washington so this is a great experience um there was some bad parts about it like uh india uh indiana uh was like cheating uh, they were cheating the system by trying to use injury time uh, to catch uh, their breath. And so, this is a cool experience. Um, first time, like, really traveling without my parents. Um, for, uh, so, yeah, it was, it was a living or being in a dorm. Um, I've never been in the dorms at FSDB because I'm local. I live about 30 minutes away from the school. Uh, but, so, but I've never been in the dorm. Uh, so this is like my first experience being in a dorm. So it was at like model secondary school for the deaf. Gallaudet, uh, campus in Washington, D.C. So we went to the airport. Uh, we drove to Orlando airport, went to the airport, flew there. I think we flew to Baltimore and then drove to the school. And then 
uh, and so, yeah, it was like, it was pretty much an all-deaf high school slash college, um, so, yeah, and then the, uh, but other than the cheating scandal and all that stuff, I mean, the tournament was actually great, um, we went to dinner, we, uh, they had a cafeteria there that was like a buffet at the school, and then, um, and then, so, we're there, and then, uh, they do the opening ceremony, and coach, um, and one, the head coach knows sign language, so, he has to actually interpret it, because, there's no other interpreter there, um, so the opening ceremony just isn't um, being interpreted by coach, um, and so, um, and then they had like a social, but we didn't go to it, uh, so we went back to the dorm that night, and then that next day it was just all wrestling, and so we got up in the morning, it was probably like 6.30, we had to be there for weigh-ins at, so we woke up at like 6.30, weigh-ins were like 7-ish, and then matches, we didn't, they didn't really start till 9 o'clock, so we had like a plenty of time in the mornings to go eat breakfast and such and such, um, but, um, yeah, um, we did, we did, uh, that, and then so, the first day of matches were team, team, teams, and so, I think we wrestled, we wrestled five schools, um, Texas, MSSD, uh, Riverside, and I'm forgetting the other schools that we wrestled, um, so we wrestled those, um, and then we were like, not like, our school, there were like a couple other blind res wrestlers at the tournament, uh, but our school was the majority of the bunch because we had we had four because we actually have seven we actually have seven blind wrestlers on our team, but the middle scores um, the middle scores couldn't go, so we had four blind wrestlers on our team, and so. Um, and so, um, uh, we, we wrestled team, uh, I got four, four, uh, four more forfeits that day, so I got a lot of forfeits, and then I actually had one match, I think it was, it was actually against, uh, MSSD, um, I wrestled a guy, and made it for the second round, was struggling on bottom. I couldn't seem to get on top, like, at all. I was just, I, I mean, I was doing good on bottom. I, I mean, I had my moves. I just, I struggled. I struggled to get, I really struggled to get on top. Um, so, eventually, pin. And then, t the next day... Um, was individual, so it was like our individual weight class, individual weight classes, uh, that we wrestled, and so, uh, oh, what was it, uh, I don't remember my, I don't remember my first match all that much, uh, I don't remember my first match all that much, but I do remember that it's about a minute into the first round when I got a, when I got pinned. I don't really remember it all that much though. So, um, but the match I definitely do remember is the match where I wrestled. Uh, my <laughs> my roommate, which is the deaf kid in my weight class. So I actually wrestled him for individuals, and. I was on bottom for, like, the first round or so. And then, second round, um, I got on top. Then, 
15 to 3, and uh, I, I, he had 15, I had 3 into the third round. So I wasn't doing good when it came to points, but I I got on top in the first, like, I was really putting up a fight in this match. Like, I was really giving it my all. And, um, and then uh, I was giving it my all. And the third round, I got on top, and I was trying to... I was trying to run the half, which is a move I really like. It's a great top move. I was trying to run it though, and it was like, it was like, uh, I kept trying to run it, and then it was like 10 seconds to the end of the third round, and I almost had him. I almost had him pinned, but. It was like 20 seconds that I almost had him pinned, and then he got him back up a little bit, and I was trying to run it again in 10 seconds. And so, um, I almost got it. I almost got it. It was a 15 to 7, so I lost by points. But if I would if I, um, if I would have got it, if I had just 10 more seconds, just 10 to 15 more seconds, pin. Pin, like I would have pinned that dude. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm still looking for my first win. Um. But yeah, that tournament was pretty cool. Like it was a pretty cool experience. Not just not just with the wrestling, but um, with the uh, traveling and um, me not being with my parents and me staying in the dorm and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, like, after that match, um, coach told me that you put up a damn good fight. And I did. I surely did. Uh, because, um, the other coach was signing for Drake, the deaf kid. And then, co uh, the other coach was, uh, telling me what to do. And, yeah, it was, a, it was a good match. Um, that was, like, one of my most important matches besides my first match. My first match and then that match, the import, uh, those were, like, the two most important matches. Um, but, yeah, I'm still looking for my first win, but I have made it through all three rounds. But I was wondering for that first round, it seemed like two minutes went by so fast. And I actually asked the coach about them, like, why did it seem like two minutes went by so fast in that first round? It was because... The first round was actually only one minute. It was the consolation round. And then the, the other rounds were two minutes. But yeah, anyway, that match was cool. So yeah, anyway, I'm still looking for that first win. Um, we have... We have two or... No, three more matches. Uh, so I have... We have... We have a home match, which is February 2nd. We're wrestling St. Augustine in Paxton and another school. I'm forgetting right now. We need to try me. And then we have one at Mainland, which is February 7th. And then we have Districts. And I think that this, the Washington, D.C. tournament and then Districts, Two more, two most important meets slash tournaments, uh, for right now. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know like what's going on in the future when it comes to wrestling and all that stuff. And I've really been liking it, and uh, and yeah, um, you know what? I'll leave a song or I'll leave a link to the time to wrestle song in the. Uh, in the, de in the description, if you haven't listened to it already. Um, or you could go check it out on my channel. But I will leave it in the uh, description of the video. And, yeah, that's that's how I got that's how I got into wrestling and my journey so far with wrestling. So, um, so, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Listen to Time to Wrestle because it's cool. Like, people like... Uh, 
two people have liked that song so far. And, yeah, um, subscribe and leave a comment and like the video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.